What's up, everybody? Chris Card's back. Rookie Card Explosion Box Volume 25 time. Look at all these beautiful packs in front of me right now. We've got 11 total packs. Looks like we got the bonus pack, the 1 in 6 chance of getting a bonus pack, and we got it. The Topps Chrome there with the Sepia cards in it. Pretty sweet. Pretty awesome. We've got 93 Tops right there on top. Looking for that Derek Jeter Gold card or the base. I will not uh, I will not complain with either. Be very happy. We've got our list right here on the left, and we are just going to jump right into it. In fact, this is a sticker. Let's make use of this gift provided to us by Filmington and attach this to my mouse pad. It will serve as a constant reminder of who we're looking for, and when I peel it up, I'm sure my mouse pad will be that much cleaner, hopefully, with all the um, pack dust and envelope dust that is uh, embedded into its surface let's go guys let's get this going let's find some fire out of this box really excited for this lineup let's get right to it by the way for those that don't know the rookie card explosion box is a monthly subscription box put out by filmington you can find out more information regarding this box in the description down below you can also see his social media handles there on the bottom left of the screen on that sticker that i affixed to the ttmm Mouse pad. There's the big cat, Andres Galarraga, Rene Gonzalez, Doug Jones, Mr. J. Howell, and we've got a non Jeter gold coming up. It's the wrong Yankee, definitely the wrong Yankee. Convicted sexual predator, currently serving 45 years in prison, Mel Hall, John Olrude, pretty much two opposite people back to back there. L. Sid, Sid Fernandez, war number 50 because he was from the 50th state, Hawaii. Quite a few of the Hawaiian guys do that or have done that in the past. Not exactly a plethora of major leaguers have come from Hawaii, but L. Sid was one of them. Let's check out Topps Baseball 2013 Series 1. We're looking for a Manny Machado in here. There's big Cecil Fielder's kid on the front cover prints. Like how I saved that one. I was about to call him Cecil, but then I said Cecil Filters Kid. So looks like we got a Randy Choate there on the back. That's exciting. Anthony Rizzo. Cueto Hosmer. Gio Gonzalez, R.A. Dickey. And another Cueto. That guy. And we got a cool little die cut card coming up. There's Joey Bats. And Edwin Encarnacion who actually kind of looks like Gary Sheffield in that photo. And here is a sweet little die-cut die card of Ryan Sandberg. Cut to the chase. That's pretty cool. Maybe send that one off TTM, although he uh, is not usually very careful with my card. Sending off Ryan Sandberg with a die-cut like this might come back looking like an origami origami swan. Well, uh, I'll think that one. Uh, I'll, think, I'll think on that for a bit. David De Jesus with a sweet plunge into the Ivy in Wrigley. Tops 2018 Series 2 up next. We're looking for Ronald Acuna Jr. Glaber Torres. Shohei Otani's in here. Let's hope he has a nice 2021. Everyone, I'm sure, watching this has a few of his rookie cards. Just kind of waiting to see uh, if they'll, they'll pop again. If he uh, he turns it around and can stay healthy and on the field either as a pitcher or a hitter. A couple rookie cards we were not looking for. There's a team card of the Oakland A's. Kristen Villanueva. I like those team cards, but I like the stadium team cards better because you can send them to the front office and managers and coaches and get them signed through the mail. There's Brandon Kinsler, Dallas Keuchel, and we are shut out once again. over for 3 so far. That's fine. Plenty of packs still to go, including 2018 Tops Update. Retail, again, Acuna, Torres, even Shane Bieber has made an appearance on the list. Cargo on the back, Carlos Gomez, Freddie Freeman on the front there, an all-star card. Mark Reynolds. Come on, where are you at? Jack Reinheimer, rookie card. Whit Merrifield, Corey Klubes. Come on, Ronald, where are you at, buddy? Uh, all right, cargo there at the end. That's fine. Again, not even halfway through the packs yet here. 2019 top Series 2, Fernando Tatis, Vlad Jr., Mr. 
Eloy Jimenez. Pete Alonso would be fun. There's Ryan Presley on the back. Johnny Field on the front. Looking for some mojo here out of this pack. Come on. Newman, Strausberg, Drury, Alcantara. So we got an insert coming up. There's a sweet throwback of Christian Yelitz, 84 tops throwback, 35th anniversary. Nice looking cards there. I sent one of those off to Jim Rice the other day. I came back kind of smudged. Probably not a good idea. And there we go. Ryan Presley there to round it off. That's fine, guys. Let's keep the positivity flowing. Tops Chrome. Series. Uh, there's no series on this. This is just Tops Chrome. And we're looking for Aloy Jimenez. Uh, Rosarini is in here. Kyle Lewis. I like that they got Pete Alonso and Aaron Judge on the front. And they've got Mets and Yankees on them. Oh, there we go, guys. Lewis Robert right there. Card number 60. One of the guys we're looking for. Finally, the positivity from Chris Cards has paid off with a nice little hit. There's Carter. Kaboom. And, oh, man, it's going to be um, looks like a prism refractor. Oh, my. That is one sharp-looking card. That is... That's a hit, guys. That's, uh, that's like a $100 card. Very nice. Let's see if it's a grade in Canada. It doesn't look too terrible. It doesn't look too jacked up. Lewis Robert, who faded towards the end of the 2020 season, but come on, the 2020 season was a throwaway season. Let's just pretend like it didn't happen, except if you're a Dodger fan, then you can be, you know, you can hang your hat on the fact that they won it all. But there we go, guys. Lewis Robert, 2021, coming back strong. I feel it. Put this straight of the card saver, not waste any time with this beauty. And there you have it, guys. A little bit of love shown to me from RCEB Volume 25. Very excited about this. Let's see who else we got in here besides Carter. We've got Kyle Lewis. Kyle Lewis, your 2020 AL Rookie of the Year beating out Lewis Roberts. That's pretty awesome. A little scuffed up here. A little dirty card. And we've got Lewis Robert again. Oh, my gosh. That's great. We got the base version of Lewis Robert. Man, this pack was stacked. That's probably a... Well, that's probably a $30, $40 card. Let's put that in the sleeve, too. That's, uh, that's a, pretty, uh, it's a pretty pretty amazing pack of cards here. There's only four cards in a pack, and um, Carter uh, is the odd man out. And Kyle Lewis, that's probably like a $5 card, but he's got a lot more to show. He's a little older. He's 25, so uh, the hobby hasn't shown him a whole lot of love yet as far as card value is concerned. But let's hope... Uh, yeah, he hit 260 something last year. So let's hope he can follow that up with a, a decent 2021 with the Mariners. Playing hopefully full time and getting uh, five, 600 ABs and showing what he can do. Or not showing what he can do and kind of fading off into the sunset. Lewis Robert, though, still lots of hobby love for him. Sleeve that one up as well. And um, damn, guys, that was probably the best pack of cards I've opened up in a long time via the RCEB. I'm going to sleeve these up right now while I have a minute. Throw these up top here somewhere so I can keep my eyes on them. Make sure they don't, uh, don't go too far. And uh... All right, got that taken care of. Tops opening day 2020 is up next. Looking for another Lewis Robert, perhaps. And that's pretty much it out of this kind of an anticlimactic pack opening after that 2020 Chrome unpacking. There's a Med Rosario, now a Cleveland Indian, Brandon Lau. Luke Voigt. There's an opening day card, which I, I think is in every pack of cards. There's a sweet little Miami Marlins team card. That's kind of like the team card I was talking about. You can send it off to the GM and request a business card, and um, I kind of collect those. They they really are kind of cool getting their, getting team business cards from the GMs and having them sign those stadium cards. So I'll have to do a video on that one of these days. I've gotten quite a few of them. So here's 2020 Top Series 1, guys. It's the only Series 1 I bought. I got a jumbo box of this sitting behind me, and I have not opened it yet. But it seems like this is sort of the crown jewel of the 2020 Tops lineup. Series 1, that is. Bichette's in here. Jordan Alvarez, Rosarena, Kyle Lewis, Gavin Lux. Let's see if we can see any of these guys in here. Justin Verlander, Starling Castro. There's Jordan Yamamoto. And let's flip these cards over. 
And then I'm sure they'll go the other way here. There's Miles Nicholas. I think I got that card signed that year. I'm going to put that off to the side and make sure that's the card I got signed. Or maybe I got 2019 signed. There's Glaber. Looking for him earlier. We did not get it. What do we have here? We've got a hit. We've got a relic of Noah Syndergaard. Game used relic from 2020 Top Series 1. That is awesome. Man, I'm, I'm having some good luck here in the later rounds. Had to feel it, guys. I had to touch the fabric. I have to, always have to touch the relic. Awesome, guys. And you guys know, maybe some of you know, that the Mets are my team. So the fact that I got a Met out of this is pretty awesome. I will save that, keep that. And it's not one of those huge, thick ones. So I can actually put that in a regular-sized top loader, not have to go dig out my thick top loaders, which is always a pain in the neck. So, oh, man, we're uh, let's, let's finish strong, guys. 2020 Baseball Series 1. Nice. Pretty awesome. Oh, I'm going to put that right there. It looks great. Really ties the mat together. 2020 Top Stadium Club Chrome. Usual suspects in here. Robert Bichette, Jordan, every guy I just mentioned in the last pack is in here as well. I have not opened up any of these cards. Did not open up any Top Stadium Club Chrome this year. Rookie card. Not who we're looking for. Ditto with Mr. Tim Lopes, Lopez, probably Lopez, Lopez without a Z, Eduardo Escobar, that's a pretty cool name, name of a good drug king pin, but he plays baseball instead, good life choice there, Alex Gordon, that O looks like an A, it almost looks like it says Alex Garden there on the front, that is a weird shimmering card, does not say refractor on the back of it, this one does say refractor on it. Huh. They look the same. Am I missing something here, guys? Any uh, top stadium club chrome experts watching this right now that can uh, fill me in on why one says refractor and one doesn't, yet they look exactly the same? I know the prism Robert doesn't say refractor on it, but um, I think the prism refractor is, what, one in six? And I think the regular refractor is like one in three for the Topps Chrome pack. So the Prism Refractor is a little bit rare. Of course, Chrome has a ton of random refractors in it called all sorts of crazy things. So <sighs> that's neither here nor there. Let's move on here, guys, to a 2020 Topps update. A Rosa Rania in a Rays uniform. And was this the... This was... There was a game. There was a walk-off home run. I, I have a... I have a video from the top of the Oakland Coliseum, a live video from last year sometime, and they hit a, Ace hit a walk-off home run. I did a video of it, and uh, I was wondering if that card was from that, but that was a couple years ago. That was 2019, I think. Man, 2020 has really screwed up my my time uh, my timeline in my brain. Yeah, I think it was 2019. It feels like a million years ago, but it was 2019 when I saw that. Wondering if that card was from that walk-off, but it was not. And here it is, guys, the bonus uh, refractor cards, four bonus sepia cards in here. Pretty awesome. Not sure if I've gotten a bonus. I think I got one bonus pack before, so this is just sort of a one in six odds of getting this, so that's pretty sweet. Let's not give away who's on the back. Let's just look at who's on the front here. There's only a few cards here. Elvis Andrews. Nothing too exciting. Pablo Lopez, ditto, and Bo, Bo Bichette, beautiful, Bo Bichette, rookie, tops, chrome, sepia, oh yeah, some Cheeto dust on here, I'm not sure how much, I, I, you know, I don't understand how tops doesn't have like, you know how they make microchips and everyone's got those body suits on and everything's super clean, that's where they should be producing baseball cards at tops, they got the dirtiest freaking cards in the world. They need to clean up their factory and get their S together. So I, I'm not rubbing dust off all these cards I find. It's ridiculous. Come on, you have one job. Make a card without a bunch of crap on it. Oh, I'm sorry about that rant. Look at that. Bo Bichette. I got this sweet little uh, Ryan Sandberg die cut card, which is not worth anything, but I think it's cool. So who cares? I got this green weird emerald card as well from that same pack. Not worth much, but it's it's shiny and green. So I'm, I'm attracted to it. Um, man. That Bichette Sepia card. Mr. Noah Syndergaard Relic. Who cares? Four or five dollar relic. I don't care. It's 
my PC, baby. My Mets PC right there. That's where it's going. Into my box of Mets cards. I will look at that every few years and go, oh, that's a sweet card. I got that from the RCEB. Bo Bichette, Sepia. Looks pretty good. Upper left corner looks a little dinged up, actually. Lewis Robert, Prism, Refractor, and then, of course, Base Chrome. Beautiful. Kyle Lewis, Chrome as well. Just crap everywhere. There's just crap everywhere. Some of this crap is just from these card savers. Just They're, like, magnetized. It's like dust and everything. You know what? Enough with the negativity. I've been positive this entire video, and it paid off. Paid off with some pretty sweet rookie cards. Hope you guys like this uh, RCEB box opening. Had a lot of fun with this one. Have a lot of fun with all of them. But this one, some good results, some fun cards, and a good time had by all. Hopefully, let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. Hit that like button. Of course, please subscribe if you haven't done so already. I open up these boxes every single month. Every Monday, I do Through the Mail Monday where I show you my Through the Mail autographs. And of course, periodically throughout the week, I open up stuff. I'll be opening up two packs of Bowman Chrome Sapphire Draft tomorrow. Wait, no. Bowman Draft Sapphire. Take out the Chrome part. Sapphire. Even prettier than Chrome. Beautiful cars. I got two boxes of that. Gonna bust them open later on today, make a video and post it tomorrow, so check out that as well. And I've got other videos in the pipeline, so hit that subscribe button. Join me on my journey through trying to find awesome cards out of either packs of cards or obtaining autographs through the mail or any of the other fun little hobbies I create within the hobby itself. And um, that's it, guys. Pretty stoked about this box. Thanks, Filmington. Go check out the RCEB info down below in the description, and that's all I've got. See ya.